All right, let's get the show on the road. What show? I thought we were about to steal some Pokemon. Oh, that's what I mean. All we have to do is steal the Pokemon that I've got on this list. There are so many splendid water type Pokemon in this town. If we purloin the prettiest Pokemon, no one will be able to resist our gorgeous aquarium. But I don't see any Pokemon on this list. Well, of course you don't. If someone finds it, they won't be able to figure out what Pokemon we're after when we head to the town pool. And? And we'll get them and we'll put them in our own aquarium. And? We'll charge admission for everyone to come and see them. And? We'll be rich. And that'll definitely impress the boss. I got the boat to pick up our winnings right here. Oh, perfect. There's just one little teensy tiny thing you forgot. What's that? How's that tiny boat going to fit all the Pokemon and us? If our submarine isn't big enough, how do you think that would be? We'd sink. A small detail. Oh, small is right. Let's get on with it and then go find a bigger boat. I'm so glad you were able to stop by Cerulean City, Ash. I'm glad too, Misty. We miss having you on the road with us. So, how have things been going at the gym? Good. I love being able to spend so much time with all my Pokemon. You know, Staryu, Psyduck. Hey, look at that crowd over there. I wonder what's going on. Let's check it out. Officer Jenny, why are all of these trainers gathered here? We're trying to figure out what to do. There have been suspicious characters spotted who might be trying to steal Pokemon from trainers in the area. How do you know? Well, a boat was stolen from the boat shop, and there's this note here. Look. It says Pokemon for our aquarium, but there are all these numbers scribbled around and some letters too. Don't worry, Officer Jenny. We'll figure this out somehow. Anything you can find out will help us. Maybe Ada can help us figure out what this means. She's great with numbers. Great idea. Let's call. Her. Hi, Ada. Hey, Misty. What's up? Ash is here with me too. Hi, Ada. Someone is trying to steal Pokemon from trainers in the area. They left this list, and we need to figure out what this scribble means. Let's take a look at that list then. Hmm. Well, those numbers and letters could be put together. Math problems sometimes have missing numbers. Oh. Okay. So if we find the missing numbers, it might have something to do with the Pokemon these thieves are trying to steal. You might get some good clues. So, let's start with the first one on your paper. H equals one plus one. The H stands for the number we don't know, the number we're missing. So the H is called the variable. H is the variable. Got it. But how do we find out what H is? Well, since H is equal to one plus one, and we know that one plus one equals two, then H must be equal to two. Right. Hmm. I'm not sure that really tells us anything about the Pokemon. Maybe we should solve another one. Right underneath it is another problem with W. Let's do another one. Maybe then we'll know. Okay. Three times W equals ninety-nine. What's the variable this time? What's the letter that stands for a number we don't know? W. Yes. W is the variable. But we want to put the W on the other side of the equal sign. That way, we'll be able to find out what number W stands for. How will we do that? When working with variables. You need to solve so that you get the variable by itself on one side of the equation. So what you do is set up the opposite operation. If this equation is three times w equals ninety-nine, it's a multiplication problem, right? Right. And division is the opposite of multiplication. So we flip the equation around so it looks like this: ninety-nine divided by three equals w. And since ninety-nine divided by three equals thirty-three. Then W equals thirty-three. Yes, and there's another way you can look at solving these types of problems. Perform the same type of operation on both sides, so that the side with the variable cancels out. In this case, dividing both sides by three. Got it. So whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side too. That's right. Okay. So now for the first one on this list. We figured out that W equals thirty-three and H equals two. But what does this have to do with the Pokemon list we found? I know. If W is the weight and H is the height, that might be the clue. And guess what? 
Goldine weighs 33 pounds and is two feet tall. So, these problems probably tell us what Pokemon the thieves are trying to steal. We're on to them. They must be trying to find a boat that will stay afloat with all of their weights. Once we figure the rest of these problems out, Officer Jenny can alert the trainers with these Pokemon before the thieves get to them. Thanks, Ada. Anytime. Good luck. Okay, before we get started, what does a variable stand for? Let's make sure we know. Yep, the variable is what we don't know. Okay, let's figure out the rest of these equations. 20 plus 7 equals W. Click on the variable. Yes, the variable is the letter W. Let's keep going. 8 minus 1 equals 1. What do we need to do in this equation? Right. We need to get H by itself. That's how we'll find out what number H stands for. What do we have to do to solve this equation? Yes! Addition is the opposite of subtraction. Now we want to write H minus 1 equals 1 as an addition problem. So we can find out what H stands for. Can you click on the way we're supposed to write it? Yes! That's it! H equals 1 plus 1. And that's the same as H minus 1 plus 1 equals 1 plus 1. The minus 1 plus 1 on the left side of the equation cancels out. On to the next one. 22 equals 2 times W. So what do we do? Yup, division is the opposite of multiplication. So now... Can you highlight the way we can write 22 equals 2 times W as a division problem? Yes, 22 divided by 2 equals W. We already figured out Goldeen, but now we can find the rest of the Pokemon the thieves are planning to steal. But we've got to hurry! Find out what number each variable is equal to. Yes! Find out what number each variable is equal to. Yes! Match your answers to the numbers next to these water-type Pokémon by dragging the number of the problem to the Pokémon it matches. That way, we'll find all the Pokémon the thieves are after. Good luck! Yes! It's Poliwag! It weighs 27 pounds and is 2 feet high. Find out what number each variable is equal to. Yes! Find out what number each variable is equal to. Yes! Match your answers to the numbers next to these water-type Pokémon by dragging the number of the problem to the Pokémon it matches. That way, we'll find all the Pokémon the thieves are after. Good luck! Corsola, it weighs 11 pounds and is 2 feet high. Now that we've got the right boat... With all our stolen Pokémon... Off we'll float! What's going on here? Where are all the water-type Pokémon? Team Rocket, we should have known it was you. Beat the two! But you won't be stealing any Pokemon in this town. Officer Jenny was able to alert all of the trainers with Goldeen, Poliwag, and Corsola. They put them all in their Pokeballs, safe and sound. Oh, but, but, how did you know which of the Pokemon we were looking for? The list didn't say. Oh, what difference does it make? They're obviously on to us. They've got our number. You don't know how right you are. Big Nope. Try again. Click on the letter that stands for the number you don't know. That's a number you're going to add together. But do you see a letter that stands for a number you don't know? Try again.
Remember, you want to have only your variable on one side of the equation. Hmm, I don't think so. Try again. You need the opposite of subtraction. Try again. Remember, to get h by itself on one side of the equation, you have to do the opposite of minus 1 on the other side of the equation. Try again. Yes, that's it. h equals 1 plus 1. And that's the same as h minus 1 plus 1 equals 1 plus 1. I don't think so. Try again. Think again. We need to divide because it's the opposite of multiplication. Try again. Try again. Try again.